previously on the Never Stop Tour 2, presented by Carl's Bait and Tackle. We're on our way to the lake, guys. We're gonna go catch some big old pike. Stay tuned. Well, there you have it, another slimer. Really rusty when it comes to frog fishing. It's been a, got one, John's got one. Good one, oh, that's a good one. Never Stop to me is more of a reminder. Go and do something new. Never stop exploring, never stop fishing, never stop going to the unknown. We don't have any idea what we're getting ourselves into. Two high school buddies grab some rods, hook a boat, hop in a car, and travel to places neither of us have ever been to. I just got a feeling it's gonna get worse. Not this again, are you kidding me? He's on, that's another big one. Get in there! That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna shock you, I'm gonna shock you. I suppose next time I'll see you guys, I'll be in a different state on the ocean. He's coming back on the lake, watch out, watch out. He's coming back, there he is. Oh my God, oh my God. Welcome to the Never Stop Tour 2. Why is it so beautiful this morning, John? Because we're in Arizona. This is amazing. Arizona is probably one of my favorite states that we've stopped off at. Even though tour. we haven't caught them real good except yesterday. No, but I just like the state. Yeah. It's nice. The state overall is nice. Yeah. Um, well, anyway, good morning, guys. It's good to see you. <laughs> Bright scary. and freaking breezy. Why would scare you? Just what we're doing today. Yeah. <laughs> we've decided that we finally wanted to use today to do like a challenge. We felt like this whole trip we've really kind of capitalized on just fishing, traveling, and you know, messing around and, and making mistakes. But today we do a challenge. In the last tour we did a no, what was it? A no, no rod, rod, no, no reel challenge, challenge. So you which use, you guys liked. You use no rod, I use no reel. Yeah, which, which was really pretty hectic, it was a lot of fun. And uh, today we decided to really increase the, um, the level of challenge that we're doing. We'll talk about it later once we get to the lake. We got about a three hour drive with the low and the runner. We'll meet you guys there, stick with it, stay tuned. Also before we uh, sign out, we've got some apparel. Obviously if you guys are oh. out of the loop, you guys can pick up the official Never Stop Tour apparel linked in the description below. And if you buy one shirt, one hat, one pair of shorts, it is good for one entry to win this boat right here. It's a 17-foot Striker aluminum bass boat. So that's pretty that dope. Hat back, bud? You buy a hat, you buy a shirt, you win a boat. So if you buy five, you get five entries. Um, I know and if you haven't checked the, out the link in a while, we've added a bunch of new designs now. So yes. we're always adding some new stuff. And uh, thank you guys for supporting us. Appreciate it. Let's get on the road and um, get one step closer to catching some bass. So yesterday when we fished with those boys, we got some intel as to where we f should fish today. Pirate's Den. Pirate's Den. So he said you, t you pass Pirate's Den and then you launch at a place on Parker Strip. We have not done a really good job of showcasing this one species that we want to catch today. So that's our goal. Along with that, <laughs> film a really scary challenge, which... I am starting to regret, but we got to do. We might not have to. Um, okay. We don't need to get food because there's a there's, food there. there's, there's a, literally there's a, a there's a restaurant and there's a. There's, oh, cool. I don't think this might not be. I mean, we could probably find some camping, but unless Start you want to stop at Walmart, I kind of want to just get on the road. Just go. In three hundred feet, turn right onto North Metro Parkway East. up the ramp. John's figuring out where we have to pay and what we have to do. I'm just excited. Wow, I'm really nervous for this challenge, but I'm excited to fish this body of water. It looks just so clean and so different. Like, it looks literally fake. Like, it looks like fake clear blue water. Gonna get the chartreuse crankbaits out. Lettuce could play a factor today. Like, there are so many things that could go right for me, but it could also go very wrong for me at the same time today. So, I, hopefully John figures out what we're doing. We gotta get in the water here. I feel like we've been driving forever this morning. We had a quick three hour send out here. 
and we just need to get fish. Listen, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. This is the fifth time I've gone over this. Okay. You break off, you lose a fish, you get zapped. Okay? Okay. If I catch a fish, you get zapped. If you catch a fish, any I get fish, zapped. Any species, anything. A bass. A bass. A bass. Well, I'm just making, dude. You know how a this, bass. This is gonna get interesting. I'm not worried about this. You're the one that's freaking. I'm worried. Out. You have the pain tolerance of a of a, a I bull. I do. Of like a. I do. Of I'm, a small. I do. Prairie rodent. This is not not of news to anybody on this channel or your channel or anything in general. People know I don't have a. Wow. Do you, got, do you got that now? Do you understand? So, wait, so, so if I catch a carp, I get to zap you or no? No. Just bass. Just a bass. Any. Okay. So, if I catch a little mini bass, I zap you. Sure. I'm, sure. You gotta just yes. go over these rules before we start. The, the, the rules. Any are size bass. You get zapped. If you break off a fish, you get zapped. What is it over? If you lose a fish too. If your fish, if a fish jumps and spits your bait, just when is when is when is it over? Uh, first one to five, done. First one to five. Yeah, done. Then okay. the challenge is over. Then we can fish for fun. You don't have to worry about getting zapped anymore. Okay. Like At that. least until you're asleep. Then I can put the collar around <laughs> you and I zap you awake. It's so hard to get this kid up in the morning. I might just zap him. Oh, in the shut up! I ah, up. shit! You know what? I'm Alex Perrick. I am so incredibly pumped for today's challenge. This is, I've been waiting for this moment. We have not done a challenge throughout this entire tour yet, but today is the day. No, we've done a challenge. Well, have we? Oh, we did a little challenge, but this, in my opinion, is like a mega challenge. This is the freaking challenge of the tour. Two anglers, one body of water, and some shot collars. Ricky's like, <laughs> the buddy in the back just can't wait to get fishing. So this is how today's challenge is gonna work. Uh, basically, Peric and I are gonna go head to head as we do in most challenges, but here is the twist that we are gonna add to today's video. Uh, each angler is gonna be wearing a shot collar meant for, of course, a dog. Um, if I catch a fish, Peric gets shocked. If I lose a fish, I get shocked. So it's kind of like a, I don't know, it's not like you win anything kind of challenge, it's kind of like you don't wanna lose fish and you wanna not, you know, nobody wins in this challenge. Yeah, basically nobody win, Basically nobody wins in this challenge. Except um, you guys. Unless you lose a bunch of fish and your buddy you catches a bunch of fish. So, um, yeah, you guys are the real winners in this challenge because you get to see Peric and I get shocked repetitively. This is supposedly a pretty productive water. Uh, we're gonna fish until one angler has a total of five bass in the boat. Has to be bass in order to get shocked. You can't like snag a carp or catch a bluegill. That doesn't count as a shock. So this is pretty intense. I think no one has ever done this on YouTube before. So we're. Uh, we're pioneers in a very idiot way, <laughs> idiotic way. Um, so without further ado, let's put these shot collars on and get to fishing. <laughs> you signed up for this tour, man. You knew exactly what was gonna happen when you came fishing with me. <laughs> You're okay. You're okay, you'll be fine. Deep breaths. <gasps> Come on, let's go fishing. Oh yeah, I don't wanna test it. I don't even wanna know what it feels oh, like. Oh yeah, fine, don't test it. It's not that bad. Ah! I'm gonna shock ah! you. As far as wind goes, this is gonna be our best bet to get out of it. I don't know if there's any fish in here, but this is a little challenging. It's blowing 30 out It's blowing 30 miles an hour out there. There's a lot of stuff going on. We're gonna try fishing these small canals, see if we can't catch anything. This is legit the craziest looking, um, like, lake I've ever fished, I feel like. Like, it's just so clean, so weird. Well, let's see if there's some fish in here. All right, this is it, buddy. Shot collar challenge starts now. First impressions of this place, I've never been here before, never even heard of it until yesterday. It is quite possibly one of the prettiest fisheries I've ever fished. I haven't even caught a fish, I'm just like that stoked. What I'm not stoked about is him catching a fish or me losing a fish because that means I get zapped in the neck. So it's like, I wanna have fun and really be in the moment and relax, but I can't because I got this dog collar around my freaking neck right now. It's hard, oh. it's hard to be calm. Oh. <laughs> oh man, this is gonna not feel good. Holy those carp, big carp, big carp. I just spooked. Oh. Oh. 
big fish. Gosh, that's a good fish. Yes! No way. yes! Well, that is fish number one. Yes! Oh my goodness. All right, I gotta get back. I wanna put this fish back. I caught it on a little finesse jig with a crack and craw. Bait buffet jig with a little crack and craw. Freaking three and a half pounder, probably. What are you doing? I gotta. I, should I use this then? Oh. You what? Should I does that shock you? Whatever you wanna do, man. No, I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna shock him. I'm gonna wait. All right, I got to control the boat now. If you catch a fish, you get to control the boat. I'm going to put this fish back. Holy cow, I did not think we were going to catch a fish this big today. Yes! Bro, why are you shaking? you know what's on the line right now? Do you know what's on the line right now? This is scary. This is not something I want to do. Four more quick fish. It'll be over. This is just so intense. I've never been on this boat and had it in this sound before. Usually we're cracking jokes, talking about bites, but this is just too serious. Like I am locked down focused at the moment. I just missed a fish and he didn't say anything. Like that's how glued I am to this bite. No way. You've got to be kidding me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Fish number two, fish number two. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, I can't even talk. I don't even know what to say. I just don't want to get shocked. I have I have a very low pain tolerance. That's another nice fish. That jig is coming into play. No. Oh, it's gonna shock him there. All right, I'm putting this fish back. Oh God, that does not feel good. All right, there's one of your shocks. There's you one, one shock. Back. One shock. You got one more. What? You know how I said it didn't feel that bad. It actually feels pretty damn bad. So at least we got that out of the way. Derek is. He's in the zone right now. Stakes are high, so he's really fishing hard. Oh, that did not feel good. I can't wait to shock you. Oh, that's a small one right there. That's a small one. Look at that. Oh, look, yeah. look, 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 look. He's hanging out with the carp. Probably right behind him. Dude, look at that. He's got your jig. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my. That was the craziest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. What just happened? That's a joke! Dude, you have to explain what happened there. I don't know what happened. Dude, that fish followed me out with the jig. Dude, it. Oh He's got your jig. Oh my gosh, oh you're gonna get back. Yes, yes, yes! That's fish number three. I need two more to end this fish challenge. That's a four pounder. That's a big fish, dude. Big fish. Look at that big mama go. Big monster, freaking monster. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, more <laughs> All right, put this one back. That's another, look at that, spawning fish, spawning fish. Fish number four, one more and I got this. One more and it's over. I've got three shocks I could use on him. I don't know what he's doing. Is he swimming the jig though? Swimming the jig. Oh my God, I'm shaking. You can't lose a fish either. I gotta be careful. Like, there's a lot of current. These fish can eat the jig weird. You can lose a fish really easily here. And I got Buddy up here who won't give me any space. No, you get no space, bud. Saw that. Oh, Buddy gets a shot. <laughs> that is the momentum. That is what I needed. I was, I am one fish down from losing this whole challenge. Perrick, I got a hand to him, is absolutely killing it, but he just lost that fish, which means Buddy gets a shock, but I think I'm gonna hold on for the shock for a little bit. Just kind of mess with it. Wait till I hit, wait till I hook up. Like trying to reel in a fish and get shocked? That sounds awful. Yours is, it's on, right? I almost swept it. I almost swept it without getting shocked. Now yeah. I'm gonna get shocked. Oh, I just, not looking forward to it, but I still got three shocks on John right now, so. Come on, see what? I can't talk, I, I just can't.
gonna shock you. I'm gonna shock you. I'm gonna shock you. I'm gonna shock you. Did you got me. <laughs> Did I get you? <laughs> God. <laughs> the dog's barking. <laughs> You can have one, Parrot. You can't remember you said you can't save them all at the end. You wasted two shocks. Three? I only shocked you once. Parrot, but you said you can't shock all of them. Yeah, all at once. I can race this out. But the trip is over though. Okay, ready? No, not at all at once. That's I point. get at least once. Did he not say like Okay, fine, I at least get one. You just did it. I felt it. Oh, I shocked you. Yes, you shocked me. Okay. Well, I guess I wasted all my shocks. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> Let me get one more. Okay. Ready? Oh, jeez, dude. Yes. Oh my god, okay. I gotta hand it to you. That was a pretty good. Get this off me. Pretty Get good. Get this off. You got that for oh. Ow, god. Ah. That, was that was smooth. I'm gonna shock you. I'm gonna shock you. I'm gonna shock you. I'm gonna shock you. Ah. You got me. <laughs> Did I get you? <laughs> hey. If you guys ever want Peric to fish hard, just put one of these on his neck. Ugh. I gotta hand to him. That was a pretty good effort on his part, but oh my god, does god, that not feel good? Back. Let's get a release yeah. on this fish. You don't want to keep him on longer or too long. Man. Oh, crazy thing. This is probably my smallest fish. I just, I could calm down now, I could talk. That was, that was incredible. I get really nervous when I'm fishing. I just, I want to win as well as I didn't want to get shocked. I ended up getting one shot because I lost a fish, but man, there's some big smallmouth in here too. We've been seeing some crazy fish. Now we're going to slow down, pick it apart, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the shock collar challenge. Okay, so now we can relax. The shock collar challenge is over. That was a lot of fun. I got absolutely wrecked. I got a hand it to Parrick. He did a pretty damn good job to stay in focus and catch some fish. I, on the other hand, didn't even get a single fish. I think I got one bite. So um, the cool thing is from here on out, we're just going to take our time, figure this lake out completely, try to catch some small because there is some small in here. It's amazing. I've truly never fished anything like this. It's crystal clear. We're fishing like this canal system. And then there's also like a, a main river that connects to, I believe, Lake Havasu, which is a legendary small fishery. But I'm just going to toss around the swim bait for some bigs. And, <laughs> and then Peric is also going to keep doing the jig. Just gonna have fun from here on out and see if we can also, get some fish. Did you what? I want to clarify what happened there at the end oh, of the Oh, yeah. Also, if you guys are wondering, no, I was not holding down the button uh, to we shock Perry. We figured out why he kept getting shocked. It's because he kept yelling, and those dog collars shock you when you when the dog barks. So he was making a super loud noise. It almost like maybe sounded like a bark, I guess. So he kept getting shocked. Uh, yeah, that wasn't me, just so you guys know. But it's pretty funny. He got shocked like five times there. I think you probably got shocked more than I did. Yeah. Just in that one second. So challenge is over. We're just not going to figure out this lake for ourselves and have some fun and uh, see, the, see if we can put together a decent pattern as we do want to catch some small up in here. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Good one. Keep him down. Good one. He ate it on top of the surface. That was so sick. It's a good fish. I'm gonna flip him. Yes! Fab time! Let's go! Woo -wee. Why could I not have caught this fish like 30 minutes ago in this challenge? I can't be pissed though. That was seriously one of the coolest eats. I'm throwing this giant bull shooter around, which is like this really rare Japanese swim bait. And uh, the fish ate it on the surface. It's one of those baits where you're gonna throw pretty much all day and not get too many bites. But the bites you're gonna get are, be, are gonna be quality. This is definitely one of the larger fish we've caught. Really nice, healthy largemouth. It's so funny, we came here for small, yet we're catching green fish. So epic though. Ooh! First fish in Southern Arizona. That feels pretty damn good. We're Northern Arizona. Northern Arizona, my apologies. <laughs> Just a beaut. So cool, like when we started this tour, we didn't know what we were gonna fish. And now that we've come across all these unique fisheries, trying to kind of cater to a place like this, like clear water, big bass, like fishing swim baits like that is just so much fun. Something I'm not very good at, but when you make it happen and you get it to work, it like feels amazing. Like I am on cloud nine right now. I feel so pumped. Only a three pounder. My first fish of the day it took me like two hours to get, but damn, that got me going. Whew. Let's play some get the business. This isn't good. I don't like this wind. We're now gonna dock the boat and try and flip a little bay because it's just too windy.
We're doing a little shore fishing now and uh, just donked a really good fish right here on the jig. I've definitely had a short dry spell there, but I think this is actually it. I think we're about to head in now, get off the water, kind of seek some shelter from this crazy wind. It's supposed to get up to 40 mile an hour winds today. Just to let that sink in, so. Oh yeah. Nice three pound Arizona largemouth. Thanks buddy. We just pulled the boat out of the water. We have officially ended day, what is this, 11? We enjoyed the day, it was good. We might fish here tomorrow, if it's not this windy. If it's this windy, we're gonna go straight to Nevada and do some fishing there and also host a meetup. But this, it was just like, it sucks because we, we feel like we really could have cranked today if it wasn't for the wind. But again, just let's half glass full, let's not think about the wind. Tomorrow is gonna be a better day. Today was a great day. Crush some nice job in today's challenge. Uh, sorry for shocking you. Did you hear, did you hear yourself? <laughs> we're the, plan, <laughs> the plan is we're gonna get a place to stay tonight. Yeah. We're gonna check the weather out, figure out where we can fish tomorrow because we've got to be, we've got to be in Nevada tomorrow. by 5 p.m. Tomorrow. So yeah, so yeah. we have a three hour drive to where the meetup is from now. We've got to check some weather out. We've got to do some research yep. and we're, we're gonna be fishing a body of water in the morning. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I don't know if you guys know this, but we are getting one step closer to making it to the mystery location. We've barely talked about it this whole tour, but in I think, let's see, one, two, five or six days, we'll be in a completely different country. So just a little bit of foreshadowing for you guys, but this is sick. In the meantime, we're gonna settle down, seven. get all rested. What, seven? Seven days. I can't count. Seven days, we'll be in a different country. But anyway, for now, we're gonna enjoy Arizona, fish it for one last day, and then head on to our next stop. Catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning. We are officially looking at the California mountains over there. We are in Arizona. We fished this body of water yesterday, but we got up bright and early this morning. Sun just popped above the horizon. We're going to do some fishing. Um, John's actually walking around the docks right now looking if he can see any. But uh, the conditions are amazing right now, so we should get on the water and take advantage of it. So today's to-dos consist of launching the boat, catching some fish, putting the boat back on the trailer, and then heading to Nevada to see you guys at our third Never Stop Meetup. So uh, pretty stoked about that. So we're going to do some fishing, we're going to do some meetups, and just get on with our lives and film yet another sick day of fishing. The reason why I'm tying on this bluegill right here is because yesterday John had a bunch of follows and I think one of their main food sources in here is bluegill. And this one's a little bit smaller than the one John was throwing so I'm thinking that maybe tuning down the size could get me more bites rather than follows. Fish on. Yes, fish nice on. job. Nice fish job. Fish on. on the fish on, on the gill. No, you got it. No, I got it. Oh my gosh, yes. Thank you. That was nice sick. <laughs> oh, baby. Well, I've got zero follows. John was getting so many follows yesterday. I've gotten zero follows. I was even throwing this bait yesterday and nothing. And finally, just kept with it and stuck my first big bluegill swim bait fish of the trip. Not a giant fish, but first solid one of the morning. We needed this, got the skunk out of the boat. John's throwing a top water, I'm throwing a little swim bait, just fishing around these docks, and this is the only spot that's not windy, so it's good. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. He's got it. Yep, that was sweet. That was so sweet. Good one, too. Yes! Well, there you have it, my first fish of the day. Day number two here on the Havasu Parker Strip scene. Not a freaking bad one. Came up and ate it twice. Top water, man. Top water swim baits. They're eating pretty much everything we want them to eat right now. Jigs, so money. That's a good one. Probably close to two and three quarters. Get it back. Oh, 
Oh, you got him. Bitch. Nice, nice, nice. Can you help? You got him. No, I got him. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, gosh. yes. <laughs> yes. Nice job, dude. So sauce. Both flipped that puppy. Oh, oh, yes. Nice one right there on the swim bait. Quick little story about the swim bait as well. This is actually, well, this is probably bait. your first one you've ever got. First swim bait I've ever First swim bait John ever bought. I remember like back in high school when he bought this thing for like, what was it, like 100 bucks? Uh, 80 bucks? 60 dollars. 60, 60 bucks? 60 back then was like 200 dollars. Yeah, like literally a thousand dollars to us. And he bought the swim bait for 60 bucks and he, f you filmed a video like way back in the day with this thing. And he caught some crazy fish in Illinois with it. And now we're catching fish out in Arizona with this bait. That's crazy. The biggest biggest trap fish. That far. Yeah, biggest fish of the day. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice one, dude. Love big old largies. Adios, buddy. Anytime you get a fish to eat a bait like this, it's just super fun. And I didn't even see either of those bites. Both of them happened. Long cast, working the bait slow, and just annihilated it. There's a nice one. Uh, not giant, but it's a good one. Ate the Cinco. That was cool. Come on, come on. I got him. Oh, come here. Oh, there we go. Nice. This whole day has been kind of weird. We catch them on top waters, swim baits, and now I'm finessing up one of these little tiny docks and just pull this, this little one pounder, two pounder out. Call them a two pounder with a Cinco. Just skipping the, the Cinco as far back under those as I possibly can, but working it slow out. So. Clear water, finesse, swim baits, top water. There's a lot you can throw in stuff like this. And as you can see, we're catching them on a little bit of everything. Okay. That's got to be a small one. No, it's a largey. Oh, it's a good largey. It's a good largey. He hammered it, dude. He hammered it. Oh, gosh. Look at that. Got a big one. You got a big one? Seriously? Got one double. Oh, he's game on. How big was that fish? Like oh. four? Dude. <laughs> well, at least we have one on the boat. Even though the sun's up right now, these fish are still eating on top water. The cool thing about this little canal, which we fished yesterday, has a ton of grass in it. So these fish stay cool all throughout the day and they'll, they'll pretty much stay bitey from like sun up to sun down and in between there. It's probably about a three pounder. My biggest of this uh, of this trip so far. Actually, it's probably my biggest fish of the trip, honestly. Which is crazy, because Stinky Beer's got a seven pounder. It's a nice one, just crushed the top water. Oh, and they get you a little wet. Nice. Sorry you lost one there, dude. We kind of know what these fish want, right? They want swim baits. They like jigs. I'm disappointed in my performance on that last fish. I'm just disappointed. It's okay, we all lose fish. I could have made that sick. We could have had a double. But honestly, I probably ruined the whole video. It's too. okay. Hey, it's okay. It's good. You may have ruined today's video, but it's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. What we're going to do now is we're going to abandon this because we did fish this yesterday. We just were talking like, we're kind of bored because we've fished this already. We, like, we know what lives in here. We're going to go out in the main lake and attempt to uh, battle the wind. We keep talking about this, but like, I just don't think we're gonna catch any good smallmouth out of here. Like we're seeing no. a couple, but they're not really aggressive. Like, no. like there's kind of like three or four that roam in a pack in here. So we need to get out of here. We need to try and chase some big smallmouth. Big water. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a little bit windier out there, but that's all right. Let's go fish the main lake. That's a fish. Feels real good. Uh, I don't know yet. Smally? Smally. 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 Small mouth. Just for the sake of not losing this fish. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> Double net. Yo, nice job. Dude. Brown bass. That's what we're looking for. Woo! Well. Nice job. A little drag and drop on a drop shot leads the first brown. We didn't catch any brown bass yesterday. No, no, not even. Didn't even like get a bite from one. Smallmouth bass. We are looking for one about double this one's size, but it's good to get bit. This one actually came right off a dock on the main lake. Our first main lake bass as well. And uh, let's get her back. Look, there he is. He's nosing out in front of us. Make sure you take your drop shot. Yep. There you go. Nice. Nice fish. Nice fish.
we actually sight fish this fish. Um, it wasn't on a bed, it was just guarding some fry. Threw the drop shot in there, freaking smoked it. Um, man, such a solid fish. It's crazy how many solid fish live in this body of water. We're fishing in Arizona. I don't, I don't, I can't say much more. I mean, just been having a blast out here, enjoying some time out in the water. We've obviously got a storm coming in. I think we're about to get off the water. We're gonna go fish the spot where we launched real quick, kind of what we did yesterday, and then uh, get on the road. We also might hit a shore spot on the way to our meetup. Um, just depends on how much time we have. As soon as we get off the freaking water, the rain comes. Well, that is all Arizona had to offer for us. We are officially leaving. Um, this is the last time we will be in Arizona. Next stop, Las Vegas, Nevada for the meetup. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching us pound some fish out here on this clear water body of water. We got some driving to do. In T minus 15 minutes, we got a meetup to go to. Left, okay, cool. Left again. And uh, yeah, we've made it to Nevada. This is it. We've got an amazing crowd out here. You know, we're, we're at the wetland park. We just literally did a meetup in a park and just decided to show up. And it's awesome that people are fishing in Las Vegas. You never think that there's people that fish in Las Vegas because there's not much water around here. But there are some hardcore bass anglers and it's been a great time. Okay, that was probably one of my favorite meetups. All the meetups have been good. This is the third one we've had, but this one was cool because there was like a small amount of people and I felt like we were really able to kind of take time and talk to like with everyone there. We learned a lot about Las Vegas. We learned that there's also not a whole lot of water like Albuquerque, um, but we may fish a lake called Mojave Lake for small. We still have not got big small. Today we thought we were gonna do it, but we didn't. We sucked it up and we just caught big largemouth, which is, I mean, you can't complain. Um, we also met Rudy from the movie Rudy, like the actual Rudy, which is really cool. Like that, that's insane. Uh, really awesome guy, and he's a he's a fan of what we do essentially. Um, met a lot of really young anglers who are getting into the sport and are trying to refine their skills. It was just neat. I felt like I got a chance to kind of relax after this long three-hour drive from Arizona to Nevada and talk with some amazing people. So. Big ups to all you guys who went to the meetup. It was chill, it was relaxed. We've only got one more left in San Diego. And uh, we're now going to Caesar's Palace, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Welcome to Vegas.